Corrupt. We found this file. Recover the flag. You can also find the file here on the shell server. Right, well, we'll take a look at it over there. Okay, so it just says it's a data file. Okay. Um, all right, so I end that. I think that, that reminds me of like a PNG file. So let's go ahead and download this to my computer. I'm going to open that with a hex editor, I guess. Okay, so let's look at the PNG file format. Well, that wasn't very exciting. This picture. Oh, come on, let me get to the picture. There it is. All right, so if I look at the header here, it looks like it should have PNG, I header, and I dat. Got all the hex here, we'll try to line that up. So. 89, 50, 4E, 47, 0D0A, 1, 1A, come on, 1A, 0A, why is it not letting me type on top of that? Oh, did let me type on it anyway. Let's try saving this somewhere else. Maybe it'll be writable over there. Let's call it mystery PNG. 85, 50, 4E, 47, 0D, 0A, 1A, 0A. And it looks like this I header looks wrong, so. There's the 0D, so. 49484452. Looks like that I dat is also wrong. And let's just do it over here. I D A T. All right, let's save that. Uh, we'll open up the downloads folder all right there's our flag pico ctf corruption well it's gonna be hard to type that so we'll move that off to my other screen and there you have it